Um, you know, I want to talk to you about your sound. I want to talk to you about the label. How's everything been going? Because it's been a while. I mean, it's been going great. Um, I didn't expect it to do this well this early on. Usually it takes a while to establish um, a label and a movement and everything, but um, I've been surprised with how well it's been received. Um, so I'm very happy with where we are now. We're doing our 10th release uh, at the moment that we're pushing. And um, so, you know, we're not very far into it. We're not very deep into it, but I still feel that we've uh, reached uh, a milestone with the 10th release and yeah. Can you tell us what it's called? The release or the label? The label. Vibrant. Vibrant. <laughs> like vibrant, but with a V, so vibrant. <laughs> Excellent. And now, what are we going to do today? Because there are many facets to Jeremy Orlando, isn't there? There's the kind of slightly chugging, proggy side of Jeremy. There's the like more Dylan-esque, like, you know, hard, gnarly techno side. What are we going to get today? A little bit of everything? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to showcase the label today and uh, play strictly stuff from, from the label, which will be interesting. Uh, obviously, big shoes to fill after Kink. He's very technical, and I'm on the other side of the spectrum, more slow and uh, more progressive. But uh, yeah, that's what I plan on doing today. Well, that sounds like the intro that we need. Give it up, everyone. This is Jeremy Alanda here on the DJ Sound Show 2017.
2-2. Get those bumblebees in the air. I want to see your bumblebees. those bumblebees. Everyone, give it up for Jeremy Orlando here at ADE 2017. Man, you even had the bumblebees going down the front. Yeah, I love this. Come on, bumblebee crew, come forward. <laughs> oh, my God. Serenaded by bumblebees. If in doubt, say it with bumblebees. <laughs> okay, we're just getting the photo with the bees. Okay, great, fantastic. Jeremy Alanda. Wow, great mix. She had everyone dancing, really nice vibe, chugging, relentless. I felt like it was 3 a.m., and that's a rare talent to be able to transport a room from 5.30 on a Friday uh, to the middle of the night. So, yeah, really great set. One thing I want to speak to you about, though, is where are we in this kind of post-EDM world? You know, like that bomb dropped on America. And, you know, surely someone like you must be like bearing the fruits now of sticking to your guns and not going down that road. Definitely. I mean, like you said, it's, uh, there was a big boom with the EDM. And uh, now it's kind of settled in. And people that get into dance music, they're either moving on to, you know, hip hop or uh, something else, or they're digging deeper into uh, dance music. And uh, there's a lot of people to be discovered, you know, me amongst one. And uh, it's just great to see, it's, it's so young over there. It's, the, the culture is still very, very young and it's maturing uh, in a fast pace. So um, it's a good good place to be for sure. It's, it's not as... Uh, snobbish as it could be in, in Europe from time to time, but uh, you know, so it's, it's good. It's good for someone like me because a lot of people have a hard time putting me, is he underground or is he, you know, more commercial? And uh, it's been hard to try and balance where I am, but I've kind of just let go of that and uh, focused on making music that makes me happy and yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think, can we keep it down a little bit at the back? It's like having noisy neighbors. Thank you very much. Come on, look, it's important. We've got Jeremy Yolanda here. We're streaming live on the internet. Gotta show some respect. 
So you've stuck to your guns. You know, you've dro- as we've just discussed. You know, your music. You've you haven't kind of uh, compromised. I think is the best way of putting it. Where do you see the future going? You know, these guys, girls coming into the scene like 18 years old and stuff. Do you feel like they have a route through to electronic music through the more commercial guys and then end up with you? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the way I went. I, I started listening to super commercial. Oh, come on. Very, yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, then... I'm not going to let this go. Come on. What was your route into electronic music? Um, I think it was Benny Benassi, and uh, obviously I, I got I got spoiled in Sweden. I had like Steve Angelo and Ingrosso, and they were making electro stuff, not like they did at their peak, uh, <laughs> where they were actually making good stuff, it's stuff I still listen to today. And uh, so I got spoiled in that sense. I got into it pretty deep, pretty quickly. Um, obviously discovered Eric pretty early on, and he became my mentor, which was amazing. Um, but seeing how I went, and I think a lot of people go that way, you know, you start out with something uh, very commercial and then you just scratch the surface and dig deeper and uh, I think that's what a lot of people do in in the US at the moment. Wonderful. Well, it's been a real pleasure to have you on the show. Everyone give it up one more time for Jeremy Orlando. Thank Thank you so much.